channel if you're new here i'm aisha butterfly <laughs> so i'm actually really nervous about coming back on here because i've just disappeared for so long because i've been like procrastinating um yeah i've been procrastinating for so long but yesterday i was on tiktok and i saw this video and it literally said it was this lady and she basically said a story about how she made a youtube video five years ago and when she made it, all her friends and family laughed at her. They said it was rubbish, they didn't support her. I think her family, like, I don't know, stopped speaking to her. Her partner broke up with her. Her friends, like, just didn't become her friends. And now five years later, she's, like, a multi-millionaire making so much money off YouTube. And now she's saying, like, everybody supports her. All her friends support her. She's even, like, having new friends and stuff like that. So all she said was, even if nobody supports you and you feel like it's not going well, don't give up because if you show up every day, someday it's going to pay off. I know that was a bit lengthy, but it was just such a powerful message and that's why I'm recording this video because I've been avoiding YouTube for so long for other reasons as well, not just because. But I think watching my old videos i want to come on here moving forward and just be myself i like feel like there's a pressure on instagram to be perfect and i am in no shape or form perfect like but the thing is i don't want to like come on here oh sorry guys i don't have makeup on i don't want to do that like i'm not going to apologize for my skin i'm not going to apologize for my hair i'm not going to apologize for not being perfect so <laughs> yeah i want to be able to come on here and just show you guys my real self like my real personality so yeah all the waffles out the way so this is gonna be my frontal ponytail i think it's become like a signature look really recently because i just feel prettiest with my hair out of my face i feel like when my hair's down it hides my face but when it's like pulled away and it's sleek i think that suits me the best so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try and keep it this video like 10 minutes uh <laughs> so if you're not new to my channel you'll know that i cut off my hair like it's been over a year now but it's actually grown quite a bit i know it looks like a mess i've just moisturized it but so when i wash my hair i use sheer moisture shampoo i think it's the apple cider one of this one so I've got the shampoo and conditioner of this one and I've also got the deep conditioner. So after I do that, all I put in my hair is some castor oil and the leave-in conditioner, which is what I've got in here. But when I braided my hair, I was being, ooh, I was being really lazy. That's why they're so massive. And the thing with my hair, because it's so kinky, it gets really messy really fast. My nose is watering because I've got hay fever yeah so when i put that in my hair i just want to show you guys the braids they're not great because i literally did brush it it's just one two three big big braids wait one two three four five yeah the three here three here so when i do my frontal ponytails let me show you what i do i do um all the cornrows but then you need to have a strip here because this is what's going to cover the back the thing with me is i don't really want to do a 360 pony what's it called 360 frontal that seems like a lot of work so what i've done is this is my wig it's from west kiss hair it's 13 by 6 straight 200 density 26 inches um it's a really good wig this is how it looks uh yeah so when i so this isn't freshly washed i've already i wore this yesterday which is why it's got all the makeup and all the gel on which is like for me when i take off my wig i try and keep the shape to save me from having to like do too much but make sure you don't cover this bit oh in so it's not like sticking out 
and then I kind of like I don't know how I ex my sister was like are you adjusting your wig with your face I'm like yeah like if you do this it naturally moves to where it needs to be and I think for me it's like here by the way I'm gonna be having my morning drinks so this is my apple cider vinegar drink like I said if you're not new here you know about this legendary drink it's got apple cider vinegar it's got lemon juice peppermint tea and green tea yeah this is what i drink it's this big and it's just got hot water in here and another thing that i've been drinking recently is my green juice if you can hear a noise i've got the washing machine on probably not the best time to put it on but it's gonna have to you're gonna have to work with me so the green juice has spinach grapes uh passion fruit uh <laughs> ginger carrots almond milk and that's it this is really good this has been really good for me and i also take like my sub supplements but yeah so if you see me like drinking this and drinking that it's because yeah <laughs> Yeah, sorry about the washing machine. I should have probably waited to turn it on. So, as you can see, the braids are still in, but we're gonna take that out later. So, but all you wanna do is put this to the back. Just, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's just to get it out of the way. Yeah. So, you're gonna need like a makeup wipe or just any baby wipe. I've already obviously used this one, that's why it's brown. And you're gonna need surgical spirit. And all you're gonna do is just put some on there. Ooh. And you're just gonna like wipe the frontal. So all this is doing is taking away the glue from the glue I put on yesterday, the glue, the gel, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna go and turn that washing machine off. It's a bit much, isn't it? I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, I've turned it off because it was just too loud. So all I'm doing is, you can see, that was clean before. Now it's being dirty, it's getting dirty. And all I'm literally doing is wiping. Oh yeah, I've got individuals in. I'm not really an individual lash girl, I'm more of a strip lash. But I just randomly walked into like a shop and I was like, can I have some lashes? And then usually like lash techs will tell me, oh, your lashes are too short and they're too curly. But I feel like if you're a professional, you should be able to do hair, lashes, nails for everyone. You shouldn't say, oh yeah, because you've got this hair texture. I can't do your hair because I think there was a time when black people even our own people would turn people with natural hair away just because we've not bothered to learn how to do it but I think now people are taking time to learn how to do black hair so you will it's more common for hairdressers to do like kinky hair whereas before they'll say oh your hair's overdue which means you need to relax it damage it and potentially get cancer so this is the Eco Styler Gel. All I'm doing is just putting it on my baby hairs. If you guys want like a video on me, like washing my hair, blow drying it, straightening it, laying it, it like as it is now, I can do that, but I would only do it if you want it. So, and then I'm just brushing this like forward, holding it and then sweeping it away like this. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. yeah i might cut down the baby hairs they just they just feel a bit massive right now and just try and push this down so bear in mind i've not even added any glue yet and it's already looking i could potentially go out like this and nobody can tell me anything so what i do next is i use my got to be spray this is just a mini version you can use the big version if you like 
but I just find the mini version I can just put it in my bag if I need to like touch up and all I'm gonna do is spray my hairline like that and what I like to use is like a rat tail comb and I'm gonna use my hair dryer just this is a let's not talk about it let's just pretend like it's perfect So now I've blow dried it, you can see this bit here, it's really stubborn. This one's okay a little bit, but what you want to do is just go to the corners again. The bits that tend to lift for me is uh, like the sides. And I know you guys might say, oh, use a stronger glue, but I prefer to not use a stronger glue because I want my edges and it's gonna be harder to get it off because I know if I use got to be, the surgical spirit can get it off and you can literally, that's like one pound 80 in super drug. So yeah, I'm just gonna blow dry it again. So what I like to do is I like to take my foundation brush and just like, just I'm just pushing it in and you can see it's like blending into my skin so much nicer yeah so what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna take out this braid at the back so this is my hair uh yeah my hair's growing quite a bit if you're like if you've been on like my channel for a while you'd know that I went bold I went bold um about a year ago um it's grown like this much so this is the heat protector i use on my wigs and my hair so i'm just gonna spray some of this on and then i'm gonna blow dry it because it's still a bit wet from the shower so now i'm gonna use my straightener i uh, forgot to mention this straightener did break and i did put tape on it because you know got to save some money i think this is the tresemme hair dryer i've had this for a while it's still really good and i think this is remington remington and it goes up to 230 in heat so all i'm gonna do is i don't like to straighten it too straight because it's gonna damage my hair so what i'm gonna do is just run through it like maybe a couple times just waiting for it to get hot It just needs to be able to cover the lace of the wig. That's like my goal. My goal isn't for it to blend in like super perfect. So now what I do is I take this down. I'm just gonna brush. So now this is when I decide if I want a low ponytail, a high ponytail, a braided ponytail, a twisted one, a bun, just leaving it like but I think for my face, I think I suit the low pony the best. I think this should be okay. So I'm just gonna do like a low reason. Well, is this low? I think it's just, yeah, it's kind of low. It's not high, is it? Yeah. Oh, I think I'm just gonna leave it out today. And then you just wanna brush, brush, brush. Yeah, like I was saying before, if you're gonna call yourself a professional, you you kind of need to be able to do, do it for everybody. Uh, so that includes, if you're gonna call yourself a lash tech, it's not, oh, I'm only a lash tech for people with long, perfect lashes, because honestly, I felt like absolute dog shit um the girl, obviously it's not her fault and i do appreciate her being honest that she couldn't do it so guys the reason you can see all these bumps is because i've done my braids underneath so massive it's bumpy now but it's okay it's not it's not the end of the book so i'm just gonna try and use my hair to cover 
and I'm just gonna spray a bit I've got to be and dry that. And because my hair is still a little bit short, I'm just gonna use some clips. I pray it's covered because I don't have eyes at the back of my head, but it should be okay. Like with me leaving my hair out at the back, my only goal is to just hide the lace you know, at the back of the wig. Yeah, that's my only goal. So to finish it off, I'm gonna use the Tresemme, it's not Tresemme, sorry, it's Wella, <laughs> the Shockwave Mousse. And I use about this much. And I'm just gonna put it at the front of my hair. Oh gosh, I think I'll put the pin in last. And all this is gonna do is just give you that laid, really laid look and i'm just gonna brush it with this is like the best thing i've ever bought oh yeah so next thing i do is i get a silk scarf it looks like this it's just a square and what i do is i fold it to like a triangle like this and then like this and I just make it smaller till it's a strip and then let me make it a bit bigger actually because it's a and then I just lay it like this and bring it back and this is just to help the hair set uh, so whilst that's doing that you just want to so, like I said, sometimes I might want to do like a braided ponytail, a twisted one, um, a bun. But yeah, can you see? You can do whatever. So that's that would be a braided one. And also, let me show you guys how I do my buns. So you just wanna twist the hair like this. It doesn't need to be perfect. So if you want to do a twisted ponytail, you just put a bubble here. But my bonds, I twist it like that. And then I like roll it. That's not obviously great. But I think for this hair video, I'm just going to leave it like this because I've got uni soon. So the last step is to just blow dry and make sure the mousse is dry. Okay, I don't like like flat edges like this. So what I do is I like, I brush it out so it's not like crunchy. Oh, yeah. I don't want it stuck to my head because it just doesn't look very natural. So I just brush it out so it's like, can you see it's like fluffy? Yeah, like this. Yeah, and um, this is the finished look. I think I'll probably use this for my intro, but yeah, this is my ponytail. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna film, I'm about to film a skincare video and then a makeup video, so yeah yeah this is like my favorite hairstyle right now i think this hairstyle suits me the most uh yeah what do you guys think let me know if you're gonna try and do it uh let me know if you like it let me know if you want me to do any other hairstyles but this is currently my go-to hairstyle and yeah so bye guys and I'll see you on the next video. Lots of love.